Hello guys and very welcome to the Final Fantasy 13. This is Mino the Knight and this is Sass, Hope and uh, Vanil over there. And let's continue our adventure through the... Uh, what, is, what this place called again? Uh, the Wild Pigs, that's right, the Wild Pigs. Just some junkyard of a useless spot that, you know, uh, Lassie didn't use when he was building a cocoon. So we got one drop in here. I'm thinking since I'm never using the Deceptisol, the Fertisol and Aglisol, I'll actually gonna try the Fortisol. It casts bravery, faith and haste at the start of the battle, so hopefully that will, you know, will make the fight a bit easier. I'm not sure what the, what those things that do actually, but uh, let's uh, do the fire damage. Oh, almost. Come on, don't let it. Yep. Don't let it pass. I think we can simply, yeah, we really can stun him. Start of him, I mean. This is gonna be the 5 star combo. I'm not sure if this is because of the uh, the buffs. Maybe the haste does, you know, make a difference. Because we did attack a lot quicker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not bad. Maybe 4 stars. Not so quickly. Yeah, 4 stars. Hmm. So I got something from him. Yeah, then this weapon is kind of kind of bad. You know, if, if we compare this to the air wing, this is uh, 18 strength, uh, 12 magic, and the critical shield. Something you know, and this is just you know 12 and 12. I mean, I'm not really sure what would they put something like this. And weapon don't level up at this point I mean hopefully in the future they will so uh, they got a lot of components we cannot use this at this point so uh, hmm. oh it wasn't necessary that fight wasn't necessary hmm. there's something up there no shit some kind of creatures okay guys let's prepare for the worst Strange creatures. It's like uh, I don't even know what the fuck is that. And where is the head? And what is the eyes? Hmm. Well, I'm guessing the clothes on the. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill Careful. down, guys. Okay. Look at these creatures, man. What the fuck? You can only see those in the Final Fantasy games. I don't even know what the fuck is that. Oh, oh, oh chill down. I don't want to fight. I just want to see where is your eyes. Where is your eyes, creature? Just uh, trying to look for the good moment to start the combat. Maybe something. Never gonna work. Never gonna work. Just as I so was let, getting let's used see to techniques in Libra first. Uh, did we see anything useful? Weakness to lighting and water. Uh, nothing beyond that. Sadly, this is this called uh, Incubus. Incubus. Uh, quite a lot of HP. St uh, chain resistance not very high. Pretty quick stutter point, I'd say. All right. Come on, come on. Nice. I did stutter. Oh fuck! Come on, die. Just miss our uh, stutter point. Fuck's sake. 
guess the haze does help a little bit. We can't even reach the 130 points. Struggle him properly. I'm not really using the superiority at the top of her. Oh, no, 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 no. Change in the play. Playing like a noob. Someone, come on. Oh man, I guess it's a fucking impossible to 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 stagger them. I mean, I'm three uh, without the command on him. It goes off so quickly. So quickly, I mean, how are we supposed to do this? Man. Getting all, I guess. Anyway, uh, this is some kind of a facility. Some lights, lighting. Let's continue and see what is, what awaits us. Isn't that a a warship from Pulse? You mean they made it this far? No, of course not. Not during the war. Not since. They might have tried. But none of their forces made it into Kakur. They only damaged the outer rim. Then the Sanctum's foul sea pushed them back. What'd you uh sleep through history? <laughs> More or less. So what's a ship from Pulse doing here? Once the war was over, people couldn't live near the rim anymore. In places like the hanging edge. So the foul sea, they gathered up scrap from Pulse and used it for rebuilding here. This is what was left. A bunch of garbage. Who'd have thunk? A post file C and who knows what mixed in with all the trash. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk indeed? Hmm. So I guess we get some new data lock. Yeah, the enemy intel that gave us that uh, Libra gave us wasn't really helpful. Demons coding attacks against a single target delivers devastating physical attacks. Oh, and nothing beyond that, really. I think I know how to stagger opponents. I just need to quickly uh, switch the stances. I'll, I'll try this. Uh, on the next enemy. First of all, I think I need to change the. Uh, well, let's read a bit. The War of Transgression. All right. Several hundred years ago, the armies of Puls attempted to invade Cocoon in a conflict known today as the War of Transgression. The Sanctum uh, Fall Sea were able to repel the lower ward forces before they breached the uh, cocoon's interior, but not before they managed to seriously damage areas lying near the ward's outer rim. Details surrounding uh, the clash remain shrouded in mystery, but the government's swift and decisive response to this violent pollution transgression minimized casualties and uh, greatly boosted uh, public faith in both the Sanctum and the Fall Sea. So they could have used this War of Transgression to, to boost their, uh, you know, their power. I guess the government can, could do this, you know, could do this kind of stuff to us, the normal citizens. So I wouldn't be surprised if in this game, you know, this uh, War of Transgression so war nothing less than a government's attempt to, uh, uh, you know, to fortify their forces and uh, believe in, in them, I guess. <laughs> Never mind my... Uh, my uh, uh, oh, conspiracy <laughs> theories. So, uh, in the aftermath of the War of Transgression, regions near Cocoon's Outer Rim were left 
uninhabitable due to the severe trauma they had sustained. sustained. To undo this damage, the Fall Sea gathered materials from the surface of Pulse and rebuilt Cocoon's wounded landscape using them. Bodum was uh, one city was one city so affected and like the others it still bears uh, lingering traces of a uh, post fabric construction in the form of uh, leftover lower world artifacts. The pool's vestige uh, that hit a dormant falsy was one such artifact. Hmm. Okay, I see. So maybe War of Transgression was a real thing then. Since the you know the pool's falsy were found in bottom, so Anyway, a little more history on the game. War of Transgression and why the, uh, there is artifacts on the lower world. Uh, anything else? Events. Chapter 4. Taking the trash. The War of Transgression, the conflict between Pulse and Cocoon. A towering wreck is all that remains of a lower world airship that shut down during the battle that took place centuries before. At that time, forces from Pulse attempted to invade Cocoon only to be repelled by the efforts of the Sanctum Falsi. Thought not uh, before the invaders had planted uh, a great wound in the floating world shell. Uh, though Sanctum Falsi sub subsequently uh, mm, repaired the damage using debris from the surface of the uh, routed enemy's planet, the psychological wounds in inflicted by the conflict are evident even now in the cocoon citizens on reason in fear of all the things of all things pulse and reminders of the lower world threat still remain mechanical terrors are brought in with uh, the debris to replace their resting parts and wander the area while government troops uh, struggle to contain them the pulse fall sea buried the bottom buried in bottom may have arrived in the same fashion slipping away the years until its eventual discovery. With lower world terrors lurking in every shadow, Sass creeps forward doing his best to shield Vanille and Hope. Alright. Any more points in the stereo? Mm. Synergist. Uh, got some bravery. Gives us strength. Alright, what about the uh, vanilla? Take it to some more on the saboteur. No CPF, alright, gotcha. Synergist, I guess. Oh, not quite enough. That's fine. Wanted to see the paradigm customize. We don't really, really need to synergist, right? I mean, you can be a wager. Always a wager. What about the abilities of this guy, Sash? Sash. Fight gives us resist to magic, so. Strange uh, raises the strength. Actually, we do need strength. Anyone else got faith? Not really. This shall be protect. So this is two kind, two different kind of uh, synergist. Uh, so the hope does protect the party, and uh, Sash does uh, raise the. Uh, no, the attributes of the party. Oops. Paradigm. So let's keep the two, uh, two synergists in the gorilla. In the gorilla. So yeah. Extended enhancement. The thing is, oh, I think we can attack in those posi in those formation at least once. I'm gonna go peek ahead. Oh, why would you peek ahead? There is something us ahead of us? Do me a favor. Stop wandering off and stay where I can keep my eye. That's right. Got only one. Only one can keep us ahead of us. Okay. 
I really want to do the preemptive strike on him. It's very hard to do the preemptive strike. Oh, this time I done it, but uh, they are two. Nice dagger. Hold it together. Let's box yourself a bit and finish the moment. Free disaster once again to finish the moment. Come on, Fugi. Come on, guys. Thanks. Once again, this is going a bit, a bit, uh, much better, I would say. I guess since I haven't played this game like for three or four days in a row, I forgot a bit, you know, between, you know, the importance of uh, changing stances, the paradigm system. Uh, so anyway, five stars, very good. Let's put this rolling. I guess. Not really. Very straight eight uh, symbol. Why oh, with another friend of ours? Maybe even two friends. Let's use the fortress hole once again. I mean, I'm not really needing them. Yes, running's oh, out of the man. question. Not to him, guys. Not Changing to him. Changing the play. Why would your tongue get full soldier? Hold it together. Doctor once again. Quite roofed actually. Come on, finish and a good night. Oh, this was bad. Changing gear. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Nice. At least we consistently staggering the enemies now. So that's a good some improvement I guess. Strike, there we go. Cubus. Change of gear. Come on, two gear. Change in the play. Oh, no, not the variety. Guys, come on. At least it's going slowly. Staggering. Come on. Again, to finish the mod. Nice. See you, Daddy, now. Indeed. 
couple points. Passive detector, start the bone. Hmm. Passive detector. Well, let's see the passive detector. A sensor that uses phase differences, me difference measurements to detect targets. All right. A stowed bone that must once have supported a heavy frame. Nothing we can use. Can we enter the cave? There's like a safe point there. Guess we need to go around. Oh, actually we can. What's here? Pointing's down. Another loot container. Metal arm brand. Alright, this is I guess this is for the snow. Uh, munition necropolis. Inventory items. Uh, this is weapon actually. No? Accessory metal arm brand. Okay. Uh, resist the protect plus 20 percent. Oh, I see, so the mobs also cast a deep protect on us, I see. Now we can save. Uh, I guess here would be nice. So I guess we could play for a bit more. ahead of us. I guess this is a tree tree fight. Fight against uh, the tree incubus. Pretty strange creatures. Oh come on, did I Oh come on. Come to pop There is some guy that is not really an incubus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No time to waste. Stagger, very nice. Let's add the superi superiority to give us some buffs. Switcheroo! Nice. Come on, come on. Come on, I guess I'll wait a bit. What's in the wrong stance? Oh, this one is very weak. Three stars. Oh, it's to be expected, I guess. This was quite a new enemy. I guess it was the... Like a mage. Support... Uh, for them. Demon... Demons. No, demons. Succub succubus. Alright. Yeah, only 19, 1900 HP. Should have focused him in the first place. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here, okay? Uh, so, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.